Hello everyone, I'm Emmy Lou, and I'm going to teach you how to do a sunflower today. I want to show you a sunflower from a different angle and I want to do it based, like, not based, but in um, a glass vase. I taught a little boy the other day how to do it and it just made me think, oh, why don't I just show everyone? So, I want to quickly show you. I did a cabbage, as you do, I did a cabbage the other day, well, quite a few days ago. I did a, tom a tomato, if you're in America, a tomato, tomato if you're in English. England um, and a banana so I wanted to show you these three things because it's really fun to just go around the house um, ask your parents first and if you're an adult obviously that's a worry um, and then chop up a piece of fruit have a go at painting it everything starts from shapes so all you need is some paint I mean if you don't have paint you could probably use watercolor pencil but just any paint you've got in the house or just draw it Draw it and then whatever you've got, oil pastels, chalk pastels, anything, you can colour it in. But I've made myself a palette of A4, use an A4 for sheet of paper. Um, and this is the acrylic paint that I'm using. So I'm using Roller Dowley um, acrylic paint, um, really nice and thick. I mean, if you, if you get a good paint and you pay a lot for paint, I think they're the best, really. I think if you, if you get a cheap paint, then it's always gonna not look as good so first all you need is paper pencil but I've got a pen let's go right so it's not sunny at the moment let's make it shine right you want a biscuit so I did this yesterday or the other day so we're gonna kind of do something similar to that so we're gonna do think of a flying saucer so like a cookie or a flying saucer and then what you want to do is work out the sun's going to come from here so I'm just going to draw this there's where the sunshine is coming from and sun and, and sunflowers face towards the sun so we're going to do our bunny ears I call it I'm sure I've done a, a video on sunflowers but this is slightly different because it's going to be from a different angle so we're going to do from the cookie we're just going to create petals if you can't do a petal like that do a petal like a triangle do you know what I mean but it's all the way till you get to here so we're gonna go triangle and you can make them really creative you can go Nyong. you can go da 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 and you can interlock them I mean the more skilled you are the more you can create um, twirly whirly ones if you go to a sunflower field um, I went to one actually and I bought this massive sunflower, it was huge, it was bigger than my head um, and they were beautiful, it was in this, near me, it was this field of sunflowers in Hertfordshire so, you've done all of these, take your time, pause the video if you need to now, you're going to do them coming up from this bit so, start here la, la, la. and you can make them, you can make them as twirly whirly as you like Twirlier the better, if I'm honest. Twirly, because they're not uniform, which means they're not all the same. So the more twirly they are, I would say the better. Twirly, whirly, just get creative. Right, once you've done that, I'm doing this rather fast, but once you've done it, I'm gonna try and find, you could have done it earlier on, if it's too hard, but I'm gonna do a circle inside. If you can't do that, just go over them. So draw over them like that, and then rub out whatever's inside the petal. Okay, then we want to do, I can't remember what I did, <laughs> then you want to go, touch that bit there up here and go, and then touch this bit, bottom bit here and go, right, you want to create a cool kind of crispy effect. So you're going to go, first you're going to go, wow, all the way down, then you've got to think about your head's quite small, possibly, might not be, um, and your body's probably big enough to support, well, it's, it's big enough to support your head, so that's what we want for the sunflower. We want a nice chunky stalk to support the sunflower, because if it's really thin, the sunflower head's just going to fall off. So they've normally got a few little hairs, but you don't need to put those in if you don't want to. And here, there's always like crispy little bits. When I say crispy, I just mean like curly, wobbly bits. If you can't draw that, just think about think about long swords. 
kind of like long swords going out. Right, once you've done that, now, this is really important. You need a water wash of a colour that you love. So I'm going to pick blue because my sunflower is yellow and green. So I'm going to get a big brush. Do you know what? Do you know what? I might do a purple. Right, let's just stick to the blue. I'm going to get a light blue. So I'm going to mix a bit of blue, a bit of white. This has to be really watery. Your paper has to be quite thick, but not natter blue. And I'm going to do this. A bit, a bit worried. <laughs> I'm going to go over. Now, I've got to be still able to see my sunflower because if I've gone over and I can't see my sunflower, then I've made a boo boo. <laughs> and then, then I've made a mistake. So, you want to, and if you do go over and it's like, oh no, I've gone over it, don't panic. Just wait for it to dry and go out and, and draw it again. But I'm just going to. You can literally change the blues as you go along. So my idea is fill in the background. You could literally, literally, you could um, paint the background. You could paint the background first and then draw over it for sure. It might be the easier way, but I, for some reason, quite like to do it like this. This is how I do it. So it's up to you. If you want to do the blue first, and then draw the sunflower. You might find that works better for you. But like most things, I like doing things a bit harder. <laughs> I like doing things the hard way. <laughs> so, let's see. Right, there's my sunflower. You probably can't see the sunflower, which makes it slightly tricky, doesn't it? And because I've put quite a lot of paint, it's not gonna dry in time. So, I'm looking around to get something to dry it. I don't think I've got anything. Hang on, hang on. Right, I'm gonna get some. Right, I'm gonna do that over it just so it dries quicker. It's just some kitchen roll or toilet paper. So I'm gonna dab it. Da da da. Can you see it? You can vaguely see it, can't you? Okay. Right. So this is called a water wash background. It's quite watery, as you can tell. Right. Now, whilst I wait for everything else to dry, because I can't put the yellow on top of the blue because it's going to turn green. So whilst I wait for it to dry, I'm going to make a green for my stalk. For my stalk. So yellow and blue. I never make it in the palette. I just get a bit of yellow, a bit of blue, and then I just see what happens. If it's too dark, I normally put more yellow in. Sometimes if you put white in, it can make it look a bit meh. But, I don't know, it's up to you. I like to change colours. Like I like to keep adding more yellow if I'm doing a green. So it'd be darker. It'd be darker underneath the um, sunflower. I forgot what it was. <laughs> It'd be darker underneath the sunflower because the light's shining and you won't be able to see under there so much. So I'm going to do some crispy dark bits. Crispy. I'll probably get crispy, but I don't like them crispy. Now to separate, if you're a bit of, if you're an adult or a bit older, to separate, you can just get some yellow and white and just go like that over the top to make it look like. It's not all part of the stalk, if that makes any sense. Can you see that? Can you see it? Can you? I'm hoping you can. Yeah, now it looks like a palm tree, which is all good, isn't it? Right, if you can't make a brown, you want to do um, yellow and red to make an orange and put a tiny bit of blue. So you mix a red, mix a yellow to make the orange and then put a tiny bit of blue and you'll make a nice brown. So I'm going to do a brown in between. I'm only doing the brown um, now because I'm waiting for this beautiful blue to dry so I can do the yellow sun sunflower. You want to do the petals the last that last, which we possibly will. You want to do the petals the last of the painting because you want to go over all the cookie. 
so the brown bits my cooking room so you want to go over that to make it look more organic so i'm painting in between the petals to create that cookie in the middle it's always quite dark so i'm going to put black Mine's going to be all watery black. If you get a bit messy, do not panic. Everything is okay. I think I never really panic anymore with art. I used to when I was at school. And now I'm just like, ah, it's all right. Let's go over it again. Right, if you can see the petals all here. In a way, doing this blue thing has not really helped you look at stuff. But anyway, petals, let's go. So, I'm going to get yellow on its own is great, but it's kind of transparent, which is see-through. So pick up some yellow, pick up some white, and you want to really dot this on. So I'm doing it in strokes like this. I'm basically drawing as though, as though I'm drawing the shape again. Pick up yellow, pick up white. Do not be scared. Even pick up a little bit of red. The red makes the yellow like this. It makes it quite cool because it makes it different types of yellow. Different types of yellow. Chunky's good. Chunky is good. Can you see it? It looks pretty cool. This is done super fast, so take your time. Take your time. And if you if you get a bit confused, because I nearly got confused, um, invent the petal again. So draw the petal again with the paint. Don't be scared. This might be slightly advanced for some of you. Just give it a go. You don't know till you give it a go. And ultimately, the worst thing that can happen is you end up with a picture that you don't like. But if you do another one, you might like it. I did 365 paintings the other year, so I did one a day, and out of all of those, I only really loved, I think it was 75 of them, which I turned into cards, greeting cards, which were bar and Etsy, Emmy Lou painted day. Um, so, you know, it's really cool practice. See, like, I've just gone a bit bizarre up there. <laughs> and you can just add more as well as you go along. You can be like, da da da. If you don't want any gaps, just add some more. Ideally, you don't really want too many gaps around here. Right, as soon as you've done that, that is your sunflower. And you can think to yourself, okay, I really like that. But what else do I want to add? And you can maybe get some white and some bluey green. And you can, probably won't be able to see this on here. Or is it black? Just do those little hairs on it. I'm going to do them big just so you can see. I've done it quite far away, haven't I, this video? Now, you know sunflower seeds are so good for you. You can put some little seeds in there. And I always like to make things look quite realistic. I've just dropped it on the floor. Okay, get a bit of white. White's always a good one to do because it makes things stand out. So, I'm going to put some here. I'm just sort of doing it here and there because it makes things stand out. It looks really cool. And um, probably could put some in there actually. I quite like it. <laughs> you can do whatever you like. Do whatever you like. And then maybe I might just go a little bit crazy and do some colours. <laughs> and do a few. Right, okay, so I'm going to stop now because otherwise I just go overboard. Um, but yeah, that's my sunflower with my blue background. As I said, do the blue background first if you feel more confident about that, and then draw the sunflower, or draw the sunflower, try the blue background. It's really nice for your confidence to try and do a water wash and not be too scared of ruining your picture, and do whatever colour you like. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. I think I'm going to do a bird, because I love birds. And um, I'm going to try and use some spray paint, so I'm going to show you how to do the spray paint, um, which isn't something you'd probably normally do, but it's a nice technique you could try if you ever go to an art shop with your parents and get some spray paint, or if you've already got any spray paint. Okay, have a lovely week, and I'll speak to you soon. Mwah!